we first put power onto the motor, it's in program mode for three minutes. Um, you can then program the remote control in. If it's longer than three minutes, you can put into program mode by flicking the black switch on the motor head to the outside and then back into the middle. So either power off, um, power on, or do that movement with the black program switch. And once it's in program mode, you can then press the program button on the side of the remote and you hold it in for three seconds until you hear the motor click. You then in operational mode with the remote, so it's in momentary mode in both directions. If the direction's not right, if you're pressing up and the line's going down, you can flick the little grey switch on the motor head to the opposite position of where it is now to get the direction correct. Um, if you can't access that grey switch, you can do it from the remote control. So from the remote control, you press the program button on the side and also the up and down buttons together. So all three, to either the motor click three times. And that will change the direction. So program up and down, three seconds, so you get three clicks. And that, checks, that gets the direction going the opposite way. You can then set the end limit, so you take the blind band to the bottom and stop it at the bottom point and press program and down for three seconds till the motor clicks. And then you take the blind all the way to the top. It's still in momentary mode, so it's no, the limits aren't set. You know the limit isn't set in that direction because it stops briefly as it did then on the way up. So you take the blind up to the top and stop it at the top point. And to set the up limit, you press program and up together for three seconds. So your end limits are fully set, the, the remote's fully programmed. Um, the main function of the C18, it has an obstruction function. So if there's furniture or something gets in the way, the blind on the way down, or the zip is blown out in strong winds and the fabric gets caught up in the head box. Uh, as the blind is travelling, it will detect the obstruction quite quickly and reverse and go back up again. It will try a second time and if it can't get through a second time, it reverses back and do it a third time again. And it will then stop and wait for you to um, get rid of the obstruction that's in the way.